Uh, welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to show you a trolley management system which is completely created by using the Google Sheet and Google Web App Script. Here we use the Google Sheet as a database. So this is a simple solution uh, for some businesses to use the Google Sheet and Web App Script. So you can see here is we have the dashboard right now and in the dashboard we can see the trolley grunt out and everything and here is the check in or check out system. So we have in this system four user types the admin, the quality, the dispatch and the sales. Okay, so we will discuss about all of them step by step. Let me start from the admin panel. Okay, I just log out from my web application and enter my admin details here. So first we will cover all the features of the admin mean then we will go to the next user and then we will go to the other user as well okay so this is a dashboard in dashboard the first feature we have the current date the today date filter as well we can simply apply the filter so we can easily see them the today data dashboard analytics and if we want to a custom date we can also apply the custom date here and click on this apply so it means now we are seeing the data of our custom date range and if we want to clear data and want to see all the data so we can just clear the filters from here and the second thing is that we have the check-in or check-out system so here the two roles the check-in or check-out so you can see in our sheet quality quality users can only do checkout but dispatch users can only do the check-in okay so you can see here we have the check-in or checkout log we have the crowd operations here this is a trolley we can't be or uh, update them these two log id or trolley id check-in user checkout user and days out and here is completely so you can see this is a days out means how much days the trolley the trolley will be out from our warehouse okay so you can also apply the features from here as well so you can see we have give you the drop down and clear all features as well and if you want to add add log entry you can simply search any trolley and you can if you don't want to search any trolley so here's a scan QR you can also apply the QR. this is a camera error not the camera error right now I am using the PC in my PC I don't have a camera but in my laptop we have a camera so it will work okay so you can see this is a trolley now the question is that how we can get the QR code just go to the trolley and you can add a new trolley here the trolley ID the trolley name let's take example I am adding here MRI001 and the trolley name is Ramiz let's take example take it Ramiz and the current status is uh, and the current status is in or out it's in in and click on this save so when I click on this save you can see my trolley is added out successfully and the QR is generated out successfully so this is the last in time and okay so you can also see them in the check-in or check-out system you can also see the trolleys here's the check-in or check-out everything while while the users will do in the users section user management you all know we can manage the users edit delete and update the users here easily so you can see them here so we can apply the crud operations you can see this is a our user management system we can also search the user search by email created from or created to filters as well and we can also apply the crud operations or delete operations here so in the activity logs we can see all the activities log we will perform in our system and this is a important section in alert setting okay what is the alert setting this this is basically a app script trigger to send you the email so in check-in or check-out system you can see this this is a days out system so if the trolley is uh, a more than seven days out it means this is a critical and uh, you will send a critical email to that particular user so you can set your alert settings from here okay so you can see enable alerts and you can alert threshold days you can also apply 7 10 20 14 what you want to do and here's your email recipients and then you can click on this save setting and when you click on this save setting it means your trigger is going to be updated and now it's in active states okay so how it works this system checks for trolley that have been out for seven plus days alert are sent automatically via google app script time based triggers okay so set up automatic uh, alerts go to extensions app script and triggers at a time driven trigger to check and uh, send alerts daily click and send test alert above the so this is how it works we also mentioned them so in the my account section you know 
we have just a password change feature nothing else now we will go to the another user so in our another user we will see this is a user for the quality we just copy this particular username and we set it the password same so we just paste it here the username and the password and click on this login so when i click on this login as of now i am logged as a right now quality user so what does the quality user can access the check-in or check-out because they can only check in or check out in check-in or check-out they can only do the check-out for the trolley okay so this is a trolley and uh, let's take example we just uh, select this and click on this check-out so when i click on this check-out now you can able to see here the check-out recorded successfully means the check-out recorded successfully by this particular user okay now this is that all the work of this quality user now just log out from here and uh, go to our uh, dispatch user we just copy this particular user email and set the password as the same so we just paste it here and again paste it here and click on this login so when i click on this login the same interference but the user is the dispatch right now let's take example this is a trolley 2 and i just simply click on this check-in today and this is a, a trolley 2 and click on this check-in so when i click on this check-in as of now you can able to see here the check-in recorded successfully means the status is completed and days is zero if this happens it means the days is zero the trolley comes from our here from warehouse this particular date and check into another warehouse this particular date and you can also see the time here what time we have the check-in and what time we have the checkout okay that this is the main thing the same thing you can see the my account now the last thing is that we have the user's role we just copy this particular user and set it the same and just come to our login page and enter our details and click on this login so when i click on this login as of now you can able to see here this is a sales user and can access the dashboard and the check-in or check-out in the check-in or check-out they can only view sales user can only view the data but cannot perform any actions okay so in the trolley section you can see they can also able to see the data but cannot apply the actions here so in the my account section they can simply change their password so this is our trolley management system which is completely created by using the google sheet and web app script and if you want a custom project you can simply uh, contact uh, us and one more thing one tip uh, uh, the person who want to start the work on the youtube uh, whenever you create the websites just use this type of particular demo data if you use the real-time data let's take example example any personal data so youtube can give you the copyright so you it's better to use the generic data something like demo data as well okay so this is a tip for you so if you want a custom project go to just uh, contact us on whatsapp and if you want to subscribe our channel below a subscribe button you can simply press the subscribe and press the bell icon so all of our videos when we uploaded you will be notified first of all so we thank you very much take care and if you want a next video according to your needs you can simply comment in our section in our comment section so we will uh, check out your comment and we will and we will reply you in our comment section and we will make the web application for you as well thank you very much